All right, so I just want to share a video um, of my 12.5mm uh, Nikon Nav HW and an issue I found with it while I was cleaning it. Uh, I had a bout of maybe three or four days of very high humidity, and it's just a standard precaution. I like to inspect all of my eyepieces for optical fungus, make sure that there's nothing growing on them. Um, and in cleaning the Nikon, I saw what kind of looked like this set of like swirl marks and sort of this film that was on the uh, the lens somewhere. Um, so let me kind of turn the eyepiece and I'll, I'll bring you to um, a point that looks very sort of machine-like in nature. So there it is there. So up here, I've got a little pencil for a pointer. You can see like these these machine-like marks at first I thought this was just leftover residue from my cleaning procedure and the, and the cleaning procedure is the one recommended by Teleview a little bit of isopropyl alcohol a little bit of still water, q-tip slowly and gently swirl around the eye lens after brushing off any debris just to make sure that there's nothing that could scratch the lens um, it's something I've used to clean all my eyepieces dozens of times, it works great um, but at first I thought I just didn't do a good job for the, with this Nikon and after trying to clean it a little bit again I couldn't change the pattern of what we're seeing here, so it didn't look like something that was related to contamination. Um, it could still be the case, but I, I doubt it. Um, and then, well, looking at a little bit more closely, I saw those machine marks, and I was like, "Oh no! You know, did I did I scratch this thing? Did I did I damage the coatings in this cleaning procedure somehow?" But I don't know how a Q-tip could cause this. And they're kind of all over, and they're very circular in nature and this is not necessarily how I clean these eyepieces. I don't clean them in like perfect concentric you know, circles. Um, and there's also just this just around the outside edge there you can see like these very fine sleeks. Like somebody took ultra fine sandpaper like you know 3,000, 4,000 grit sandpaper and just did a rough polishing job on this lens. It, it literally looks like this was machine polished and it never made it to a hand polishing phase. I can't imagine what else would cause that. And you can see it just it really lights up when you have this light held at this angle. And if I move that out of the way and I bring in the 21 Ethos and do the same test that's nice deep black optical glass there's no there's no issues there at all move that out of the way bring in the 17 ES92 do the same test and there's some areas where I probably didn't clean it very very thoroughly but that looks pretty good to me no no real major defects there either and bring in that Nikon again. And there, there's those swirl marks all over the lens. I can't tell if they're on the outside surface or, or if they're on the inside surface. Um, doesn't look like it's on the outside surface to me, but it's you know it would be really hard to tell otherwise. Um, but I haven't noticed this. I guess like I didn't I didn't know I didn't see this when I first got the eyepiece. I wasn't looking for it. Um, the views that I've had through it have been superb. In fact, I think the contrast in this is better than many of my other eyepieces in spite of what we're seeing here. Um, so I suppose ignorance is bliss in that regard, but it's just surprising to see this coming from Nikon. So anyway, um, I figured I would record this video and share it with you guys and get your thoughts.